Have you seen that video of the dog um, wanting to eat a bit of apricot, but he's obviously tasting it in the air and it's a bit spicy for him? No! So he kind of goes... <sighs> no, I don't know. I don't know it works as much if we go... No, I'm not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily we've got wee Glen Cairns, so that would be a nightmare if we never got one. Hello, I'm Jen. My name's Rachel. Welcome to our channel. We are Whiskey Geeks. Not Whiskey Snobs. So if you like all things whiskey. And you're not a snob. Subscribe! subscribe. Um, we are trying Irish whiskies all this month. Um, to celebrate St Patrick's Day um, on the 17th. So we are trying another Irish whisky today. We've got Green Spot, which is another one that we've been wanting to try for a long time. It's one of the ones that whenever you ask anyone to recommend some beginner Irish whiskies, it's one of the ones that they mention. I'm sure we've tried one of the spots, but I don't know which spot it was. I remember trying Yellow Spot at a stall at Whiskey Live was in it? Dublin, I'm pretty sure. So I maybe tried the Yellow Spot then as well, mm. unless I tried something different. I think it was the yellow spot I tried. So there's four different coloured spots, okay. all produced by the one company. Right, right. At Middleton Distillery. Okay, who are also making Jameson's. They're also and making Red Jameson's and Redbreast and, and lots of others. Um, and yeah, it's an independent grocer company. Um, oh. And I think they're called Spot Whiskey Limited. So yeah, they do red spot, green spot, yellow spot, and blue spot, I think. Okay. But green spot is like the main one, that's the most common one. Okay. Um, and so that's the one that we're going to try. Nice, perfect, cool. So... Oh, oh I like the smell of that. It's so light. Yeah, it's so... it's melon. Oh, it's very flat. Yeah, that reminds me, the smell anyway reminds me a lot of the Jum Shambo. Oh, right. Do you know what grains they use for this one? This one it? is the same again, malted and unmalted barley. Right. So we know it has to be at least 30% of each, so I don't know the proportions. And then for the rest of the 4% they can make that up with other grain? Yeah, but as far as I know this is only bought barley right, okay. in this one. And this one has been matured in first fill bourbon and first ah. fill sherry. So I feel like this smells a little bit thicker and rounder and more full than the red breast that we tried last time. It's quite lemony! It is quite lemony, that's a good tasting note. It's weird because like it's lemony sponge. but thick. Yeah, yeah, lemon like lemon sponge. icing because it's not like mm, lemony I always think of as thin, but it's like lemon but thick. Is there a wee bit of spice there? Um, I might have just sniffed it too close. I just get I like, like lemony, like thick lemony. Now you've said that, yeah. Lemon icing um, on melon sponge. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know how to make a melon sponge, but I feel like I should try. I think but you should melons try. are a bit wet. Should we try? Sponge. Cheers, sponge. Mmm. Mmm. Um, melon. Melon. That tastes like that. Honeydew melon. Does taste a bit like the red breast, but a bit. It's got a much longer finish. It does. It's got. It's much fuller. It's yeah. It stays around for a lot longer, but then it mm -hmm. stops. That's it. Just stops now for me. So that's quite surprising, actually, because the red breast was all was minimum of twelve years. Mm -hmm. This one is a mix of uh, whiskies between seven and ten years. So that's younger, but I feel like that feels fuller and richer. I feel like I can see how maybe the red best is smoother, but that's much more fuller flavoured, which kind of offsets yeah, yeah, yeah. the smoothness. First fill uh, casks. Yeah, I suppose that will definitely more be more. Um, this is also quite limited, well, not, not quite limited, but they limit this to 12,000 bottles a year. Oh, cool, perfect. Um, so, yeah, you can, only get, um, you can only get a certain number a year and then it's gone. Mm. And St. Patrick, do we know much about St. Patrick? Mm hmm. I know he's a patron saint of Ireland. Yep. Um, his day of his, was it the day he died? It's the 17th. It's the 17th of yep. uh, March and it's celebrated all around the world. And he drove the snakes from Ireland is what I know that he was famous for. So, um, but we don't think there was any snakes in Ireland. I don't think there? there was any snakes in Ireland yeah. ever, but he, he drove them out. He stood on a plinth or something. He stood on something. On a high no or something. I know. And he com <laughs> commanded the snakes to I've leave. I've never heard of that. I know. What's a no? You've not heard of the grassy knoll? No. Just a wee. 
a bit. Shall we like a Shall wee, we, a wee hummock? Wee, yeah, like a, a wee hummock. A wee hummock. Don't tell me you've not heard of a hummock Is either. That <laughs> <laughs> it's like a wee, a wee hummock of grass. <laughs> like I'm making them. <laughs> no. It's like that makes sense. It's like a backwards hammock. A hummock. Oh, maybe it is. A hammock goes that way and a hummock goes that way. I don't know the know a bit though. That's <laughs> questionable. <laughs> Well, anyway, he stood on a. I, don't, I think a plinth seems a bit formal. Mm -hmm. I don't think he stood on a plinth. I think he stood on a some knoll. some kind of knoll right. and commanded all the snakes to leave. Right, right, and right. And they just went into the sea. Right, that sounds totally realistic. That's totally doable. Absolutely. He, yeah. he, he spoke in partial tongue. Is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and sent them all away. <laughs> um. Uh, so yeah, he he founded Christianity, we think, in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, I didn't know that. Yeah, but yeah. That's what he's credited for anyway, and getting rid of all those Kel Celtic non-believers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and turn them to the way of Christ. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. But, um, <laughs> I love Irish folklore. Though. Oh, it's great. It's really fun. It's full of, like, rascals, isn't it? It's, and it's full <laughs> of things that are absolutely ridiculous as well, like a talking goat to his, yeah. who's, like, the, the, like the, the squire of a village or something like that. And, yeah. like, fairy trees and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, there's lots of that here, yeah. too. But I love the story. We got told that we were in Ireland about the EU got involved because they were wanting yeah. to build a... I think a was it a road? Yeah. I think it was with new yeah. money or something, and it would they'd need to cut down a fairy tree, and they wouldn't let them. Which I think is I think, I think that's cracking. Because so whether you believe in fairies or not, that is like an icon of their culture, regardless yeah. of whether yeah. the fairies are real or not. Exactly. So, which of course they are. I like the green spot better than the red breast. I think I would be the same. Yes. Um. So yeah. So far. From our tastings mm -hmm. of Irish whiskey this month, the green spot is my favourite. Although I have another favourite from before. Drum Shamble. Yeah. I love Drum Shamble. I love Drum Shamble. That's better than both of them, I think. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, put together. Sorry, but yes. I'd take one Drum Shamble over a double of both of them. Yeah. Yeah. Very pleasant though, it's really, really nice. Yeah. Time, and both of them I'd probably give to someone who didn't who's newer to whiskey over the drum shamble. Definitely. I think the red breast actually for someone who's just getting into whiskey is the very ideal smooth. It's so mild. Very yeah. smooth, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so cool. we're going to be trying Irish whiskies all of this month. So join us next time. We're going to try Middleton Barry Crockett Legacy. Great, sounds delicious. Cheers! Cheers, Slange. <laughs> Thank you for joining us. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please give it a like and a subscribe. And you can follow us on social media at The Grail Tastings. See you next time, Slange. At Middleton, I've forgotten again, I was going to say Davy Crockett. It's Barry Crockett. Who's Davy Crockett? Davy Crockett's like someone from like the American Wild West. Oh right, he's not Davey, the one that got buried at sea. Davy Crockett, something of the wild frontier. <laughs> no, that's... Where do you get all these songs from? Davy something's locker. Ah. Jimmy, Jimmy, Davy's... <laughs> Bob's Locks, Bob's Locks. Bob's Locks. Jim Skies. <laughs> Davy Jones Locker. Ah, well done! <laughs> well done! <laughs>